Welcome everybody here today at the 12th of April 2019. Uh, welcome at uh, JFT Bank to our next webinar about uh, JFT Invest Trading and Investing Simplified. Uh, it's a cool trading platform that JFT Invest you will see. It's a digital wealth management platform uh, for your own portfolio. You follow strategies uh, which have been pre-selected by JFD and uh, yeah that are quite uh, profitable trading strategies and those you can have in your own account just follow the steps I do here during the webinar as well so you will learn all the details you need and you will see how to manage your personal JFD invest account, account as being a portfolio manager um, yeah, that's a cool job. I think I forgot to mention my name. Yeah, Stefan Friedrichowski, as always, for those webinars. And you see already my contact here. It's s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com. And if you have some further questions, just don't hesitate and send me an email. Or you drop a note to support at jfdbank.com. No problem. We will help you as soon as possible. Uh, definitely. I mentioned already JFT Invest is a trading platform. Okay, it's it's even more than that because what you ha can do there is you can follow strategies, which means trades are copied into your JFT Invest account. So we call it those trades are mirrored in your account and uh, then you can participate and enjoy the growth of those um, the strategies. Overall, what we mentioned today as well is, of course, as always, the highlights of last week. Uh, we have a look to my personal JFD Invest account, so you can see exactly how things are running at my end and uh, potentially at your end if you do exactly the same steps. But nevertheless, we can today announce a new strategy, which is called Brimstone. And uh, yeah, that's a cool strategy as well. You will see uh, has a good track record. Uh, that's always one thing you need um, to to be published here at JFD Invest. And uh, it's a real cool strategy. And of course, we will have a look to the, my account. Since uh, last week, we started Hyperion. And let's have a look on those uh, trades executed um, on that strategy as well. But before we really start, you know the as a procedure i have always at least once to show the risk disclaimer you know that we are talking about trading and talking about trading meaning means uh, there's risk involved and uh, that you should understand and finally you do of course every step by your own and on your own responsibility but let's get started here first have a look how JFD Invest is running. It's really quite simple. If uh, you see, I'm on the web page of JFD Bank, and uh, you can see we have a button which is called Investing, and then we have JFD Invest. Um, and if you go there, then you can see already um, parts of the trading platform, at least the introduction, and later we get directly into the platform as well. Let's go first down here. You see, <clears throat> There are always um, strategies already published here on the JFD homepage. Um, and you will find here the top five performers uh, as uh, every day. And uh, so the, uh, the picture is updated on a daily basis. And you see what we are really talking about. So we are talking about trading strategies which are able to generate profits in the region of up to 80 percent so it's not just a few percent uh gross or profits no uh we have double digits numbers here and uh so they are quite remarkable quite uh was a quite good performance and you will see quite good track records so you have here already the top five performers and a few key figures already here are mentioned here one i always um uh, mention uh, additionally and especially that is equity balance deviation. Uh, what's that about? Uh, quite simple. So if you open trades, you are normally directly in the minus just because of spreads and commission, for example. And then even 
um, if the trade is against you, so maybe you you open the long trade on euro US dollar and um, the price goes down, yeah, then you have what is called floating losses, and that creates a difference, a deviation between equity and balance. Balance is always uh, your account based on all closed trades, and equity includes the closed and the open, and therefore there might be it's called floating losses, and that causes deviations between equity and balance. And you see, okay, there are some numbers which are uh, higher than um, you might expect, but that belongs to those strategies as well. So you see, for example, Hyperion with a minus 40%. Nevertheless, the return is excellent. So um, it has to do with your own preferences, and that's the cool thing about JFD and REST platform, that you select according to your own preferences. So you 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 are still involved. It's not like you give some money um, to a wealth manager, and then hopefully um, you will later realize some some growth. No, here it's a real different story. You are still involved by selecting your strategies allocating the amount of money you want to have in a specific strategy, and uh, you can adjust some risk settings as well, which is called the risk management, um, which you can adjust. Okay, but now, um, so that's the st uh, starting point to see some of those uh, strategies. Uh, let's discuss uh, shortly the, the, the four steps you need to be part of JFD Invest. You open a JFD Invest profile that simply was meant was signed up, and uh, that's nothing else than an email address and um, a password. Um, and then, if you like, you open a special JFD Invest account at JFD Bank. Uh, that account is special in Two, uh, with two meanings. Uh, one is um, you cannot trade by your own in that account. So you cannot open that mentioned or, uh, trade long euro, US, US dollar. No, it's only meant for following those strategies and nothing else. The other good thing is that um, there, you know, since ESMA regulations uh, for private traders, we have leverages um, um, now going down to 1 to 33 or something like that. Those accounts, the JFD and REST accounts, still have the leverage of 1 to 100 because you follow professional traders and therefore you get the same conditions. Finally, you connect the two, your profile with your account, and then you can start following trading strategies. So, I open already the guest access because that will be the next step, but nevertheless, I will show you um, our top performer of last week. The top performer last week was uh, the strategy BIP generator, which is trading exclusively British pound US dollar or so-called cable. And you see um, within the small picture here, the overall growth over the time, you see up and down. So the, the strategy has extremely high potential because you, you see whenever we have profits, we have a really high slope here. But this strategy has stop losses as well. And that means sometimes we realize exactly those stop losses. And that's the reason for those step down behavior. I think personally, if it comes down now all around the Brexit discussion, that strategy will really uh, uh, go only north uh, further. But it's your decision, as always. But I like the strategy because the slope of um, whenever we have growth is really steep. So that's the top performer. and. Um, Let's go to the website uh, once again because uh, we, we want to see more details about the strategy. You see, in total, we have already 12 strategies here. Uh, and uh, there are, I think, already next week, we will launch uh, one or two additionally. But at least uh, during April, we definitely will do. And you see, there's a new one um, that is uh, the name Brit Brimstone. Oh, so that we have a new strategy. And that strategy is already running since uh, August uh, last year. So there's more than six months track record behind. And of course, we will. Uh, dive into that account uh, in a few seconds. Overall, 
you see you have already the key performance figures uh, for every strategy on the selection page but we you will see we have more details for any strategy uh, within jfd and west but maybe you are curious about brimstone now let's go into that one and you can see that so overall growth over the last uh, seven or eight months. Uh, so up to now, strategy earned more than 50% in those seven months. And the equity balance deviation, and that is exactly the reason for those drawdowns here, or at the very beginning here as well, um, is doing nevertheless a quite good job so the overall growth the slope is good uh, steady going north so it's an excellent uh, trading strategies looking to a new strategy is always uh, a good thing to introduce all the other information you have access on um, our website here so you can see for example uh, the monthly return table uh, I like the table always because uh, if everything is just green it's uh, quite easy so every month was positive but you have even more information you have the complete statistics of all executed trades uh, of the history and and that's another part which i like always uh, very much that is uh, you can see exactly what kind of instruments are traded and you see in that case here the portfolio is really huge so uh, i haven't count them but it's around uh, i think uh, 30 different instruments which are traded within one strategy brimstone of course we have um, a few which are traded most so uh, the, you see that um, nearly half of all trades uh, are on euro polish lottie but there are a lot of other trades as well and the overall statistics during the last seven months has been more than 1400 trades so that means there are statistics behind um so mm, it's at least an indication um that it's not a yeah a few lucky winners um but as always, is that a guarantee that uh, we will have the same uh, behavior, the same growth uh, for the next couple of months? Of course, as always, no. Uh, but there's high potential within the strategy. And I want to revisit equity balance deviation because we have a, a chart even on that. And uh, that is a temporary change of uh, equity balance deviation over the last seven months. And you can see, okay, sometimes we have in the region of 10% and numbers like that. So that means there are 10% floating losses on the strategy. Uh, but now the good thing is that you you don't have to put all your money in exactly one, one strategy. No, the good thing is that you can always create your own portfolio of trading strategies, which means that you allocate a certain amount of money out of your overall JFD Invest money on that account, and you, you give it to a specific strategy. So that means um, you, you really create a portfolio and that even can reduce drawdowns and floating losses as well, as you will see within my JFD Invest account. Okay, um, if you look to a new strategy, what's always of interest is the minimum investment sum you need to follow that strategy. And in this case, it's 5K Euro. And uh, yeah, since the strategy is absolutely new, um we don't have anybody up to now who is following that strategy maybe we should be the first let's later look to my account um that we see whether we can we can uh, go into that strategy as well but the other thing um i don't want to hide in front of you here that is that there's always and it's the same number for all strategies there's a performance fee involved so there's no management fee so there's nothing you you have to pay just because uh, you you are part of jfd invest that's a good thing so you don't have any what we should call fixed cost no you only have a performance fee and that means only if you earn money with the strategy you have to pay fees okay so may, may think 25 percent sounds high but Hmm. looking for the overall growth uh, we have here so um, close to uh, well, above 50 percent that would mean 12 and a half percent would be um, overall as a performance fee but 
even more. The other good thing is that is high watermark. So the principle behind this high watermark, which means only if you reach new highs with that strategy, then you that you, you finally have to pay that kind of performance fee. So overall, we see a quite good strategy uh, with uh, quite good potential. The new one, Brimstone here, uh, which is doing really excellent job. Um, so we should keep that in mind because uh, that strategy should be part of my personal investment account as well. Okay, but we need 5K. So let's see. Um, I promised that we visit my, my JFD Invest account as well, because um, as always, it's interesting to see what we can achieve with JFD Invest. And that's the reason why I opened that account. And you see that I opened the account on in September last year. That was the starting date of um, JFD uh, Invest platform. And that's my overall growth within that account. And you see, I think it doesn't look bad. Um, so up to now, gross, and I explain uh, in a second why I mentioned gross return. So up to 45%, which is really a quite well number. Uh, and you see as well that uh, my overall um, balance here um, and it's three and a half thousand. You may think, hey, that's 35%. Yeah, that's ex again, that's exactly the performance fee. But anyhow, um, I earned during the last seven months uh, more than three and a half thousand net uh, with that uh, portfolio. So hmm, that's a quite good number, I think, uh, for, for any trading activity. So that's exactly what you can achieve with JFD Invest if you follow those kind of strategies. And let's have a look what strategies I personally follow with my JFD Invest account. And that account could be an example of yours if you uh, do exactly the same steps. So let's have a look to the allocation uh, as we speak. So you can see that um, right now I'm invested in five different uh, strategies and you see that I allocate different numbers uh, for each strategy that has to do with the strategy itself. So uh, how much money I want to put into a specific strategy. And the other thing, as you have seen at Brimstone there, the minimum investment sum uh, has been 5k um, yeah that uh, we have to take into account as well so what you see is a portfolio of five strategies and um, right now i think there's no need to change uh, something but maybe next week we will do some changes uh, simple reason uh, if you have followed my webinars about JFD Invest, uh, you might remember that during the last couple of weeks, uh, I have been a little bit more conservative, especially to those uh, with respect to, to Brexit discussion. So what I did, I, I went through all the strategies and um, looked how much um, British pound forex pairs are involved. And uh, I avoided those strategies which are too heavily invested in British pound. Simple reason, I have no clue what uh, is going on with UK. And um, since I don't know that, there has always been the chance or the, uh, uh, at least the probability that something totally went wrong and then British pound would have made a huge move in one direction. And if we are not exactly in line with that move, uh, it could be against us. And that's the reason why I have um, yeah, stepped out of those strategies which are heavily involved in British pound. For example, like um, Galileo, uh, just one example. Still, there's a little bit British pound involved uh, in FX Global, and uh, even in gold mine, we have um, um, British pound still in, but it's only just one part out of uh, up to 10 uh, other forex pairs. So that has been the reason to be a little bit more conservative. And we started with um, Hyperion last week, and uh, <laughs> As always, if you if you do a new thing, uh, something I would not call it went wrong. Uh, definitely no. But we 
have some drawdowns or floating losses as you can see the difference between balance and equity and that difference here of about 300 uh, euro is um, more or less uh, exactly related to the strategy hyperion we know that hyperion is an, is is a strategy with extreme high potential you you know that we we uh, um, the strategy has profits up to now of uh, uh, more than 80 percent but at least last uh, year there has been uh, a drawdown as well and um, that's my account but now in the view of uh, jft invest which means we can analyze and review my invest account so the portfolio of, uh, of following strategies in the same manner than any other strategy so we can do the same kind of plots like equity balance deviation and here you can see uh, what's the profit of or what's the, uh, the real gain of, of uh, having a portfolio so we don't have that huge numbers for equity balance deviations we don't have huge numbers for drawdowns within the overall growth uh, and that's really quite cool and now if I scroll down, you can see we have a lot of trades open. Um, and uh, as we speak, um, and um, yeah, half of them, or not half, one third is Hyperion, one third is uh, Goldmine. Uh, and you see that those have created some floating losses, um, Hyperion as well as Goldmine. But anyhow, it's uh, 300 euro uh, compared to my overall account of uh, more than 13, uh, 13K. Uh, well, that's okay. I can live with that uh, floating losses. So what you have, in fact, here um, is, is that you can review your own account uh, in the same way than any um, strategy, and you can change your allocation every any time. You can stop strategies, reinvest your money in new strategies or whatever you like, and the procedure is really quite uh, simple. So if I go back to allocation, so if, for example, I want to stop, the strategy fx global performance it's just one action stop and then all trades are uh, closed which are uh, open uh, out of that strategy and um, we would free up 3k and could reinvest those 3k if you like uh, into a new strategy but it's it's really easy it's just uh, pressing a few buttons and uh, that's all we have to do the same uh, is uh, true for for if you just want to follow a new strategy it's just pressing the button follow um and now we will see hmm, uh, that i don't can follow uh because i don't have available balance for following a new strategy okay um, um but that's the way how we could do it finally and that should be already the webinar of today uh, you can see what you can can achieve and i have earned um with uh, my JFD Invest account up to now 45% uh, gross and uh, 35 uh, net. Um, so 3.5K uh, within seven or eight months is, uh, I think, quite a good number. And that's exactly what you can do if you do similar steps like I do, if you open a JFD Invest account and then create your own portfolio. Okay, that's for today. Enjoy the Friday and enjoy the weekend and hopefully see you again next week. And uh, let's, uh, during the week, we will think about of um, maybe readjusting our portfolio and uh, taking into consideration uh, the new strategy, Brimstone. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.